All right guys, Chris here with Rackman Go, and today we're gonna get a sneak peek at the new Dometic Fresh Jet 48 full AC unit and heat pump. Let's get into it. All right guys, in front of me is the all new Dometic Fresh Jet 48 volt AC and heat pump. This unit's gonna be launching later this year in 2024. It is a 48 volt based architecture. And what's great about it is they've taken a lot of what they've learned from the RTX 2000 and applied it to this unit. We're talking brushless DC fans, a variable speed compressor. We've got a traditional ADB. So if you're familiar with a regular like RV, rooftop air conditioner install. This is gonna be the same way. 14 by 14 opening. You're gonna have your air distribution box down here. When it launches, there's gonna be what's known as a manual ADB, but it's got a very nice capacitive touch interface that also includes controls for these LED accent lights on the outside. So you've got some, you know, neighbors that don't appreciate the lights or something like that. You can turn it off independently of whether this unit is running or not. The ADB also has like ceiling lights. So there, there's light bars right here on each side of the ADB for you to be able to turn those on and off. And there is a Bluetooth app that will connect to this unit. So while you're in there, if you're laying in bed or something and you wanna turn those lights on or off, you can do that. Now this also acts as a heat pump that works down to 28 degrees Fahrenheit. That is very impressive. If you're familiar with the Penguin 2 units, um, those have a heat pump in them, but generally they start to kind of lose some of their heating capability around 40 degrees Fahrenheit. They'll get you down to about 37, but with the advancements in um, refrigeration, AC design, they're actually able to take this all the way down to 28 degrees and still provide heat. So if you're looking for something like a chill chaser, this obviously isn't gonna keep you super warm if you're taking your van or RV off grid and going skiing or something with it in the winter time. But if you're looking to camp later in the season, that heat pump is gonna be a super valuable feature. Estimated cooling capacity is right now, preliminarily, 15,500 BTUs. So that is, that is huge. That is basically a regular rooftop unit that you would get that's on shore power. That's the kind of capacity we're talking about that this is gonna have. And knowing Dometic and what they have done with RTX 2000, 2000 watts of cooling power, 6,824 BTUs, have a feeling that the 15,500 BTUs, this is gonna be very close, if not there, in terms of cooling capacity. So you'll be, you'll be able to keep your van cool pretty much anywhere. You know, Death Valley, 120 degrees Fahrenheit, you know, this thing has the capacity to be able to keep you cool in that space. All right, so we've got this unit powered from the EcoFlow directly from the power kit. So we've got a battery cable here that's going to an Anderson connection. That is what's powering this unit. We'll turn this on real quick. All right, so coming over to our screen, we've got the unit set to about 64. So this thing's starting to pull right now. We're up to 760, 750 watts. Now, mind you, this is a relatively already preconditioned space. So just to kind of get an idea of the power numbers we're seeing here, around 900 watts. Again, that slowly ramped up. We started at like 180 watts. We got up to 250, 380. So it's not a hard start like you have with like a shore power AC unit. So again, applying what they've learned from the RTX, that variable speed compressor, this thing is going to dynamically adjust its capacity and speed of that compressor to adjust for the ambient conditions and your set point. All right, let's talk a little bit about size. So this unit is measuring approximately 43 inches long by about 27 and a half inches wide. And without the gasket compressed, we're talking about nine and a half inches tall. So it's a pretty sleek and slim unit. I think it'd look great on a van. It's actually somewhat proportional being longer than it is wide. But the great thing about the width being only 27 and a half inches wide is you can actually pair this with a couple of 100 watt slim solar panels, for instance, from ZAMP or from GoPower, in order to be able to fit solar on either side of your AC unit, maximizing that roof space to be able to get as much solar as you can. And speaking of GoPower, 
When this unit is paired with a Dometic power system by GoPower, it actually will send information back and forth based on state of charge. So one of the features of this unit, it's actually able to scale its capacity based on your desired runtime and it's say a target state of charge. So let's say you're going to bed. You want this unit to run for eight hours and you wanna have 20% left state of charge in the morning. You can set this up so that this thing will basically scale its capacity to run as hard as it can and keep it as cool, keep that space as cool as it can for that eight hour period while still leaving you with 20%. And because it's constantly communicating back and forth between that power system, it's getting real time data. So if your fridge kicks on and draws a little bit more than it's used to drawing or something, the unit is gonna see it, the system's seeing it, and it's communicating back and forth, making it extremely beneficial to you if you're looking for you know, keeping that space as cool as possible versus saying just, well, I'll just put it in eco mode and we'll let it run and see how much we end up with in the morning. This is actually gonna to talk to that system and be able to leave you in the morning with that 20% state of charge. Super valuable, especially when you're off-grid boondocking. All right, guys, so that is your first look at the Dometic 48 volt fresh jet, AC and heat pump coming later this year. If you have more questions about this unit, Comment down below, send us an email, customercare at rackupgo.com. And remember, life's an adventure, rack up and go.